Hi guys, my name is Holly Larkin and this is my final, final challenge. <laughs> so, um, I'm 16 years old and I, I'm still in high school, I'm a junior. And the school that I go to and the city I live in are very small. And they're basically the opposite of anything eco. Um, actually, my school works against being eco. We get paid to serve processed food in our cafeteria. So it's, when I first started this, I was actually really scared. And I had one person who was my support. And she was my little candle in a dark room. That's my environmental science teacher. And she's just my inspiration. And she's actually the one who introduced Project Green Challenge to me. She came in during class and said, I found this wonderful thing, Teens Turning Green, and I want you all to go check it out and take on this challenge, but this is not for extra credit, this is not an assignment, and if you're gonna take on this challenge, you need to do it for you. And she, after class, she came up to me and she was like, I came up with this specifically for you. I want you to do this. I know this is everything that you need. You need to find people who care about the same things that you do, which was my big issue, because I was alone. <laughs> so, in this video is just basically a big compilation of all the videos I have made over this challenge. It'll work. Okay, so, before starting PGC, I was a vegetarian, but I was not living in any means a healthy life. I assumed if it didn't have meat in it, it meant it was healthy. So that included those little veggie patties that you find frozen. Yeah, I thought those were wonderful, but um, actually they're, they're not. So, this project has been just a 180 for me, and especially in that sense. So, and especially since I've been a vegetarian since fourth grade, and that long I've been thinking that, you know, oh, well, this is good, this is great, I'm eating wonderfully, I'm eating healthy. No, I really wasn't at all, so. And then when I was 14, that's when I saw online that cosmetics sell tests on animals, and that was when I was just like, I couldn't believe that we were still doing things like that, and literally everything on my table, I just took it and threw it out. So. But when the project started, that was when I realized that just because it doesn't test on animals does not mean it's good for you. And that was really hard, but then I found out there are so many things that are cruelty-free, but are also very eco-friendly, that are very organic. So I was able to take my shampoos, like I was using Tresemme, and I'll use Say Yes to Carrots, and that I was using, what, CoverGirl? This, like, a while ago, not the start of this. But now I'm using like elf and things that are mineral based. So that has been great for me considering I am really into makeup. I don't know if any of you know that, but yes. Um, and my family, I love my family, but they're very um, headstrong, stubborn, even more so than I am in terms of changing. They're very scared of change and they didn't understand why I was taking this challenge. They wanted me to take the challenge, but at the same time, they didn't. Because they didn't know what I was learning. They were not doing it themselves. They didn't understand the impact that this challenge could have on people. And it didn't. It took till I got that email saying that I was a finalist for them to be like, maybe this is a good thing. And that was when, you know, when we bought our organic turkey for Thanksgiving. You know, I didn't eat it, but it was great for them, and I was so proud of them. And they're, they still have a lot to improve, you know, but... They're doing so much better than they used to. So, Project Green Challenge just opened my eyes to all the bad things around me. And I didn't realize that until stepping into this challenge. And it's something that no one will ever be able to take away from me. And I'm so thankful for even getting this opportunity. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't realize starting this challenge how much I would be investing in it. My entire life was just consumed around this one month, and every single day I'd wake up and be like, what do I have to do? But of course, 
being in Florida, I didn't get to see my challenges until after I got home, so that was kind of an issue. Um, I didn't start this to make it to San Fran. I never thought that was even possible, especially for someone from a small town like mine. And so, I mean, I'm just, I can't, I'm still in shock. I'm in absolute shock that I'm standing here. So, okay, I'm extremely thankful for the day, Miss BP. You guys. <laughs> for the day, Miss BP mentioned this in class because it's been just absolutely life changing and I can't. Oh my God. Okay, so my number one takeaway from this would just be knowing that there's an alternative to all these conventional practices. Like especially with the green clean challenge, one of the challenges was like go and collect all of the things in your house and just put it together and take a picture of it. I had over 75 things. Not one of them listed their ingredients on the back. And that was really scary. And that's when I was like, mom, this is bad. But of course, her being her didn't want to change it at all. But I did convince her to buy the seventh generation, so that's, it's a step. And I'm looking forward to what we can do more in the future. So, most of all, I'm so thankful for this challenge because it's given me a cause to fight for. I've always known I was meant for this field in some way, but now I know for sure, like, this, like, it's what I'm meant for, and I'm getting to you. This challenge just proves that we as young people, as 16 year olds, as teenagers, we are the future of this world. <laughs> and we can make a difference in how our lives are being run. We're the future and we can change the world and that's exactly what I wanna do. Thank you.